It's not very easy. Yeah. So to find a probability of 15.4 to 16.8, it's a normal distribution. You want to write, you can write down the notation, 16.5 and 0 0.6 squared. So you're looking for a probability of 15.4 to 16.8, okay? Yeah, so you must find Z. All right, each of a Z is quite easy. I, you find Z, each of them. So probability of less than 0 0.5, what is your value? Zero point six nine one five. Then you find for me uh, um more than one point eight three three is the same thing as less than negative 1.833, which is one minus the area of 1.833. <laughs> So it's my answer, 0 0.658. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically just like, you know, um, trying to find a probability only. Uh, okay, just uh, find the area. You can use calculator a bit, uh, okay, but if you don't want to do that, you can actually um, see a table. Don't forget to multiply the 150. Uh, okay, so you need to multiply 150 person. Yeah, so you'll get... Uh, 0 0.658 times 150. So the answer will be 98.7. Right, we just write, but we can we'll be looking for birds, my right? So we'll write uh 98.7 now. Okay, we write uh maybe we can write uh you can write down or 99, both answer also can, either one. My right, next question is our favorite really they will ask you about how to find the mean pace. Sorry, it's how to find the standard deviation, it's not the mean. Okay, you see the wrong thing really. Quite easy, guys. One like what we do just now only man. Okay, draw a diagram. Oh. Please draw a diagram so that you know where is the diagram. Where where did where did where did you go? Uh? <coughs> so more than 17.1 cm is equals to 0 0.72. So 17.1, where is it? 17.1 kilo. This is 0 0.72, right? So that means that Z will be a negative value, okay? So you look at the table, why is 0 0.72? Okay, my Z value at the table will be negative 0 0.583, huh? okay? So you just, just got, must put negative because it's on the left side, huh? That's why I say draw a diagram out will be easy for you. So 18.4, Divided by standard deviation. Then you can find our standard deviation in here. 2.23. Okay, so don't forget every X1 paper, they will have one um approximation questions waiting for you. Okay, so therefore next page. So 120 bluebirds, and then they say greater than 17.1 cm. So you know the greater than you know greater than seventeen point one cm is uh seventy two percent, all right? So therefore, these questions are fewer than eighty bluebirds. So this one is obviously obviously is approximation means it's a normal binomial become normal distribution, uh, right? Your binomial is one twenty and then zero point seven two, because more than seventeen point one percent it is seventy two percent. Here they give you already, they already give you the probability already. 
So that's your probability for binomial. <coughs> so what are you looking for? You're looking for probability of uh, x is less than 80, right? So therefore, you must convert to a normal distribution first. Huh? Okay, NP comma NP1 minus P. Find a new mean and new variance. Huh? <coughs> Okay, so don't forget to find your Z. Yo. So what's your Z? So your Z will be okay, less than 80. So you must do the continuity correction. Huh? Less than 80 will be 79.5. Okay, so 79.5 minus of 86.4 divided by square root of 24.192. Okay, get a Z first, then look for the probability. <laughs> So we get negative 1.4029. So we're looking for the area here, right? This side. I get uh if I if I if I look my table or <coughs> at here I get zero point nine one nine six eight. Okay. Uh hello. So therefore your answer for here will be one minus zero point nine one nine six. So my answer will be zero point zero eight oh three. Or you can write zero point zero eight oh four. I don't want. Okay. Okay, right, for this question, uh, so um <clears throat> they say that they want have one swimmer execute four cyclists and post two runners. So that means it can be one swimmer and then four cyclists, seven people right, and then two runners. <coughs> okay. So it can also be one swimmer. Five cyclists and then one runner. It also can be one swimmer, six cyclists. You will say at most two runner. That means it can be zero runner also. <laughs> okay. And uh, so we will have six C1, eight C4, eleven C2, six C1, eight C5, eleven C1. And six C1, eight C6, and then 11C0 and the one note to write also never mind it's okay then you just add them together the answer should be quite big yeah? because it's got a lot of numbers eh? Okay, my answer will be 26964. Okay, four marks. Not bad. Okay, not that hard. Okay, so yeah, this paper okay, la, not that very hard. La. Next one is two swimmer, three cyclists, and four runners. Different arrangement that stand together, cyclists stand together, runners stand together. Okay. It's a permutation combination. It's, it's a permutation question. It's a permutation question with you. So swimmer is together. Side crease is together. The runner, I don't care. Oh, oh runner was also together. Oh, okay. So how do we rearrange it? Swimmer, remember this is not uh same words, huh? 
different people ah, okay, different swimmers. That's why uh, you need to arrange them on a uh, two factorial, three factorial, four factorial. Then how do I continue that? Okay, so this three thing ah, this this and this right will be three p trio. Or or, or you can you or you can do three three factorial also three factorial also can Okay, can I, so. I just use a different color to show you. So it's one seven to eight. Okay, next question. Next one. Question C, question C. Let's go. Uh, no side quiz stand next to each other. This is a gapping thing. Okay, you can try. Okay, let me copy the question first. Wait for Tuffy today. You can do a, lot of paper, do a lot of questions. Okay, so nine people, no side quiz stand next to each other. You can use a gapping method, okay? So you this one you can use the you can use a non-restriction minus minus uh four cycle stand together uh, because this one is like is like uh, so three cycle stand together because this one is like um they are totally separate, okay? So therefore you have to use a gap one uh, so like this like this like this, okay? So they say none of the cycle stand next to other means that the cycle can be put in the between a gap. Okay, can I? So my answer will be for the SS and four hour, it will be six factorial. Can I? It will be six factorial. Then what about the what about Cyprus lay? Okay, Cyprus will be wait, this one is one, this one is a this one will be uh multiply with seven P three. Okay, because you got seven space for three cyclists. No, no to divide by three factorial. Uh, because cyclists is three different people. Uh, okay, not it's, it's human. Human is different human one. Okay, it's not the same. It's not the same alphabet. So okay, even though I write C. Uh, 7P3 times 6 factorial. But the answer is so big. So it's, um, so the answer will be 151200. So I have four marks already. Seriously, yeah. Okay, they're very nice to you. Okay, they didn't ask you very complicated questions. Okay, so we will stop here. Lah. Can I, so we finished the five, five, eight, five, two paper already. So it's okay, not that hard also. Okay, so only the, the front part maybe is harder a bit. Okay, so thank you so much. Bye-bye, see you.